Okay, on the last video, I spoke to you about the five most common artificial sweeteners that exist in our day-to-day -day products. And today, I wanna to talk to you about five natural sweeteners that exist in this world. Now, this is Stevia, and this is Stevia. But this right here is certified, it says certified organic Stevia in bold letters. And this one here has Stevia leaf extract, meaning it was extracted from this, and then it was mixed with urethrol. So urethrol is a natural sweetener, but this isn't 100% Stevia. You know how I know? Because this thing here cost me about 100 bucks. This thing here cost me about 10 bucks on Amazon. And so the major difference is the this comes directly from the Stevia leaf, and this is a mixture of a compound of it. Now when it comes to these natural sweeteners, you wanna to try to go to these because they are just as sweet as the artificial sweeteners. Now did you know that Stevia is a plant-based sweetener extracted from the leaves of the Stevia and it's intensely sweet. It's up to 200 to three times sweeter than sugar. But guess what? It has zero calories. Stevia is commonly available in a powder or a liquid extract and is used in various foods and in beverage products. To me, Stevia is the number one choice. Now earlier I mentioned erythrol, which is a sugar alcohol naturally found in certain fruits and fermented foods. It has a sweetness similar to sugar, but it provides much less calories. Urethrol is a popular as a sugar substitute in baking, beverages, and also sugar-free products. Urethrol is often well tolerated and it's less likely to cause digestive issues compared to other sugar alcohols. Monk fruit extract is another natural sweetener that you can add and it's actually a small melon like fruit that's native to Southeast Asia. So monk fruit is an extract derived from the fruit and it's incredibly sweet without providing as many calories. And it's often used in natural sweeteners in beverages, sauces, and baked goods. Maybe you've heard of xylitol. Well, xylitol is another sugar alcohol found in various fruits and vegetables. And it has the similar sweetness to sugar and similar taste profile, but it provides far less calories than sugar is. And it's actually commonly found in sugar-free gum, candies, and other oral products. It's important to note that xylitol can be toxic to dogs. So if you have a dog, make sure you keep it away from them. And this last natural sweetener is called allulose. So I've never heard of it, but allulose is a natural occurring sugar and it's found in small quantities in fruits like figs and raisins. And it has a similar taste and texture to sugar, but it's commonly significantly less calories than regular sugar. Allulose is increasingly used as a sweetener in various food products, including baked goods, ice cream, and beverages. Now I just gave you the five most common natural sweeteners, but the most sweeteners that you're going to find that are natural coming in the product is Stevia. And make sure that when you get the Stevia, you're getting the certified organic. So when you're looking at that Stevia package at Starbucks and you see that it's Stevia and dextrose, understand that that's not a pure Stevia and it will break your fast or there could be calories in there or it could raise your blood sugars. The second of the, the five that I would recommend to you is xylitol. Xylitol has a great taste profile. You just gotta watch that if you do consume it in high consumptions that it could cause a lot of digestive issues. And then the third one is the natural, the monk fruit that I'd recommend for you. So when you're out there looking for some type of natural sweetener because you don't know the risks that come with the artificial sweeteners, go with stevia, go with monk fruit, go with xylitol. So guys, in the comments below, let me know if you've tried any one of these natural sweeteners and which one is your favorite. Give the video a like and we'll see you on the next one.